Hi guys, it's Sherry. <sighs> so I am going for a walk run. Just past behind me, pole number one. This is my walk run, walk speed walk, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to try to give you a visual shot from my camera of my obstacle course. This is pole number two, but I'm just warming up. So I'm going to go through a couple of them, two, three, maybe even four, just walking. And then I'm going to do a walk, speed walk kind of thing. And um, hope you guys can see me okay. I'm just going to try to give you a visual of my obstacle course. Hope you guys can see good lighting too. Okay. This is pole number three. And it's in the evening because it got cooler. <clears throat> now we're approaching pole number four. It's my little baby, Angie. Right there. And I'm just gonna stop for a second. Just try to get a better visual. Okay, well you can't really see. There's Johnny. He's wearing a winter coat because he feels chilly, but it's definitely not cold. So I'm gonna continue my walk, guys. And I'll give you an update up to what pole I'm at right now. The one on my right is pole number four. Talk to you soon. Get moving, guys. Hey, guys. I just wanted to let you know that I went one way um, up my obstacle course. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to show it to you. So I'm just going to be going down the obstacle course, and then I'll be done for the night. So this is pretty cool. It actually felt pretty easy, which I'm shocked about and I'm pleasantly surprised. So let you know how it goes. I'll just give you a visual. I don't know if you can see it, but hopefully, but this is the night sky. Okay, that's not really showing you much. I stopped off at the gas station so the kids can go. So, <laughs> and uh, I'll be I don't know if I'll take night shots, but I don't know if you'll be able to see me, but I thought here's a good spot because there's a light by the gas station. And uh, I'll let you know how the night goes. Okay guys, I'm approaching the light pole. It's light pole to light pole. This is going to be my, my run. So I'm going to get ready for a sprint. Here we go. <laughs> you don't have to count. You don't have to follow me. Just stop. We're almost at the end of the finish line. Hi guys. We had a great time out today with the kids um, going for a walk run. The kids were really motivating me because they have a lot of energy. When we reach one way to the end of the obstacle course, I stopped off at the gas station and the kids wanted to, you know, go up a hill. And I was like, you know, I'm not ready for that hill. You know, maybe, maybe another day, you know. But they had so much energy and they motivated me. I mean, um, you know, of course they came and they had something else in mind. They wanted to stop up and get a pizza. So I got them a pizza. And um, so they had pizza for dinner. And of course I had my juice. And uh, we're just having a lot of fun with this. I was able to accomplish it. I felt amazing. However, when I did get home, I was exhausted. I was exhausted. I sat down while the kids ate their pizza and I was drinking my juice and I felt like I couldn't get up. Things do get easier, you know, if you just, you know, concentrate on it. just the day after an intense workout, if you stop and just rest for that day, depending on how much you're hurting and stuff like that, not hurting, depending on how, you know, you feel in your muscles that you haven't used in a while. If I find that if you just do not work out the day after, it actually 
it never goes away. That that little aches and pain kind of thing, it never goes away. But you guys go at your own pace. Have fun with it. I'm having fun with it. I'm so glad my kids are coming with me. And, uh, you know, they're motivating me. And unfortunately, my eldest didn't come with me because he's playing rugby and, you know, he's exhausted by the end of the day. But that's okay. Um, I was able to find my 10-minute trainer video. So that's pretty cool. It is brand new. The cellophane's never been unwrapped. And I've had this video for over a year. So I may just crack that cellophane and uh, may start it and may add to my workout just so I can. Because remember, i got to go and do some spot training, work on my abs. I got to firm up my abs and stuff. So I think 10 minute training might be a good option as well. You know, maybe do a couple of you know, a couple of sessions in the morning if I can handle it. Just change things up a little bit. But the main thing is to have fun. All right, guys, I am signing off day 62 and uh, peace out. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your encouragement. All these beautiful comments really mean a lot to me. You guys, you know, I'm rooting for every one of you, and I know you guys are going to do it. All right, talk to you soon. Bye for now.